Every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book has been rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and street and building has been renamed. Every date has been altered. And that process is continuing day by day. And minute by minute by minute. I've been warning for a very long time that the Democrats and their cohorts were willing to do basically anything to retain power and never lose it by rigging the system and criminalizing their opposition. Well, ever since Biden was forced out and replaced with Kamala Harris, the media has abandoned any minute shred of objectivity or normality and are instead going full on Orwellian Soviet state propaganda on her behalf. So the party can keep power and save democracy. Even even going as far as to remove legitimate information as a means of covering up who Kamala Harris really is and to rig the election in her favor. Gee, where have we seen that before? Seem familiar? To prove beyond a shadow of doubt that our formerly free press has converted fully into a Soviet style propaganda machine for the Democrat party, check out this insane montage of clips gathered by Newsbusters reporters Nicholas Fondacaro and Bill D'Agostino, showing the Democrat party media first celebrating Kamala's appointment as border czar, then gaslighting the country and rewriting history to a degree that would even surprise George Orwell. Quote unquote, border czar. Vice President Harris was not a border czar. Meantime, Vice President and border czar Kamala Harris facing some backlash. What he said about Harris and immigration was not true. She was never appointed border czar. Uh, and this will be her first visit to the uh, U.S.-Mexico border region since she was appointed as the border czar by President Biden. People gonna have to counter the misinformation. You already hear folks talking about the border czar. She wasn't the border czar. President Biden tapped Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, to be the border czar. Now she wasn't the border czar. That's what Republicans. Uh, labeled her. They were very critical of Kamala Harris, especially in her role as border czar. Now what she's up against is folks lying about her border record, calling her a border czar. Kamala Harris, who was appointed as the border czar. The Biden team didn't declare her the border czar. They wanted her to work on kind of the root causes of immigration. Mm -hmm. There has been so much criticism against Kamala Harris. You know, she was the, the border czar. Calling her sort of the border czar, uh, which wasn't necessarily the case. So the border, if they weren't planning to address it in a major way, do not make her your borders. Are. She met with some of the Northern Triangle countries, but nothing has effectively changed. New York have been left in ruins. Good God! Okay, so let me break down how I think they're rationalizing this blatant lie. It comes straight from Kamala Harris's own tweets, where she says, Joe Biden asked me to lead our diplomatic work with Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras to address the situation at the southern border. We have to address the root causes of migration. This is exactly the narrative being given by our media right now to somehow absolve Kamala Harris from the ongoing border invasion. Which makes me think that this was always the plan given that the border is one of Biden's most unpopular, worst failed policies. It is, of course, completely absurd since Kamala Harris has made it very clear that she both supports illegal immigration and doesn't see it as a crime. I'll tell you what I've said for years, which is being an undocumented immigrant is not a crime. You know, I mean, the, 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 the idea that people are suggesting that it, it's it, it is a violation of rules there's not that's that's not the point though <sighs> well that's bullshit. what strikes me most about this latest media scheme to deceive america is that they have to know a good chunk of this country is gonna see right through it they must know that but i don't think they care they know most people aren't obsessed with this stuff like we are and that most people are just gonna accept whatever they're told by the TV. They will willingly accept the media's narrative on this simply because they don't know any better. Most of the people that are gonna see this in airports and in the doctor's office will just accept it as the truth, not realizing how utterly false it is. What do you all think? Is anyone buying this or will it maybe backfire on the Democrats and the media? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.